Hi everyone, it's Noah. Welcome to my channel. Today I paired this necklace and pearl choker. If you're interested, I'll put a link to them down below along with my shop link. This is my first studio vlog and the first long-term video on my channel. I wanted to do a video just talking to you all. It's been a bit hard showing myself and talking, but I decided that this year I'll be trying to put myself out there and be more serious about my shop. It's been 9 months since I opened my Etsy shop and I haven't gotten a sale yet. It felt a bit discouraging and I didn't have a lot of motivation to do much other than make jewelry and reels, hoping to gain some following along the way. Unfortunately, it hasn't been working as well as I hoped it would. Most of my reels on Instagram haven't been getting as much attention as I hoped they would. Recently, I started feeling more motivated, so I've been trying new things, like starting this YouTube channel and looking into opening my own website. For now, I decided to keep my Etsy shop until I start getting a bit more following and hopefully some sales. When I looked into what it took to open my own shop, I'm not gonna lie, it kinda overwhelmed me. I'm a perfectionist and an overthinker, so I always try to find out everything I can. However, it made me anxious to realize how much has to be done to create the website. So for now, I want to focus more on my audience and my art, and hopefully grow more as I go. As you can see, I've been working on new things to put in the shop. I've really gotten into making jewelry with resin and I think going forward it will be one of my main focuses. I like the idea of combining multiple elements in my pieces like beads along with the resin charm I made. I've been buying a few new things because that's what I do and I've been getting a lot more inspired lately. I'm making new charms for a future launch. It's gonna be a similar idea to birthstones, and each month will get its own charm. Currently I'm working on three colors in this video and plan on doing more. I will say the purple one looks blue so I decided to redo it the next day. This is what I have for now. Let me know what you think about them. I decided to give you all a tour of my resin station where I create all of my resin charms. I prefer not to use resin in my own room because of the strong fumes and because of this little guy, Coco. Let me show you my two organizers filled with most of my resin supplies. For my gloves I use a size small because I have small hands. First I will go over my molds. In the first drawer I have molds for my charms and pendants which I love because they make unique pieces. By the way, I've been listening to my voice for hours now while editing and it's been rough, it's really, it's really rough. In the second drawer I have all of my keychain molds. I have one keychain in my store and plan to make more. I also have a wings mall that I'm not really sure yet what to do with since it's too big for a necklace. I was thinking of using it as a bag accessory. The next drawer contains molds for beads which I plan to use more in the future or didn't really get to use it much till now. Moving on to the fourth drawer, I have some tools for my resin work and I keep all of my things I use for my resin charms and stud earrings. Now on to the second organizer. I keep my resin on top so that it's easily accessible while I work. Currently I'm using a new brand of resin. I'm not really sure if I like it as much as the previous one, which was thinner and had less bubbles. 
Also, I prefer UV resin over epoxy resin because it hardens faster since I'm not the most patient person and it doesn't have a strong smell like epoxy resin. I use these cups for mixing the color into the resin. These are my filing tools to smooth out any rough edges, a small drill to make holes in the charms. This one is a bit hard to control, so for the small charms I prefer to use a manual tool. These are the wooden sticks I use to mix colors into the resin. I use silicone sticks to spread the last layer of resin to give a shiny finish to the charm. I keep all of my glitter in a small space that fits perfectly. You can see here I have black and white and grey. I have an extra black and white resin color because I use them so often to darken or lighten other colors. In the first drawer I have my other colors. I arrange them so it's easy to see the shades. The second and third drawers contain decorations like nail foil, pearls and fake shell pieces. That concludes my resin supply tour. Let me know if you want to see the rest of my jewelry supply. Thank you for watching my first video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.